Tell me the truth. You guys missed me, didn't ya? <laughs> Just kidding. What's going on, guys? This is JT here. I am back from New York City. Me and my wife went there for a week. Had an absolute blast. I hope everybody has also had a wonderful week and weekend as well. Man, we went and saw two Broadway shows, Aladdin and The Book of Mormon. Absolutely fantastic both of them. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you need to. My Instagram name is JT is all business. Um, I just post funny stuff up there. Plus, also, me and Ashley were live on the Wendy Williams show, and the reactions to that were absolutely hilarious. And you can find that on Instagram. Again, my Instagram name is JT is all business. You guys need to follow me. So, what I'm going to be doing in this video is just showing you guys some updates on the account. Also, talking about my new Lost Battlefield teams. We got Hero Collector to do today, and we also have the discount store. Now, one of the one what I wanted to start out with is the shopping spree because if you guys are looking through the bazaar, pretty much anybody out there and you're like, oh, I want to find a pack with a ton of breakthrough crystals. Now, of course, this is for pay-to-play players, not for free-to-play. Shopping spree is a heavily pay-to-play um, game mode or bazaar. So what you want to do is if you're looking for breakthrough crystals, you want to find a pack, obviously, with breakthrough crystals. And the $100 pack today just fits that perfect. There was also a $50 pack today that I did buy as well that came with, I believe, a Levanica and about... I don't know, it's like 600 red uh, igniting stones and, or no, 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 no. It was 600 zenith stones and I think 1,500 igniting stones, also a Levanica plus 1,000 books. So a pretty solid deal for 50 bucks, but the main thing is, is yeah, you get those igniting stone, which is right there. If Let's just say you buy this $100 pack. You get 2,500 igniting stones plus uh, 1,000 zenith stones, but then you also get 12 chances in shopping spree with the $100 pack. And, ooh, no, I don't want to buy that. And with those 12 chances, they're allowing so many. You can literally just get, if you come here every two hours, you can get at least four or five of each one. So easily, if you spend 100 bucks, you can easily get the max amount of 500 worth of igniting stones or 200 worth of zenith stones. And that's exactly what I did. I think I had like... Uh, what I have like 15 total chances or 16 total chances and so I just went through and as you can see went through the shopping spree I mean literally cashed in I mean spent a hundred bucks and for the hundred bucks got 5,500 igniting stones with 400 zenith stones right so that is an absurd amount and while I was away in New York I didn't really make that many purchases but I did make a couple let me see how many let me see how many stones I got. I'm pretty sure I got quite a bit. I got 28,700 basically igniting stones and almost 10,000 zenith stones. So quite a bit of each one while I was gone. And now we also got 2.4 million gems, which is an insane amount as well. Now, as for this challenge of Warden, I think I missed one or two days. I'm not exactly sure. And honestly, I haven't really had the best setup. I didn't really think this all the way through or come on very strong against, against this warden. So I really don't want to share any tips. I actually didn't even talk to anybody about the warden to find out what's the best way to go about it either. But for the next warden, while I'm here, I'll definitely get you guys the details and the best way I believe is going to be a good setup for that. What am I? I'm ranked 66 right now. I killed the warden five times and looks like there is quite a handful of people that have killed it six times. So my setup um, definitely is not the best. I was just using just a basic overall setup, honestly. I could probably go a lot less survivability and more damage output, faster attacks, I would believe, because it's not really that hard to stun that boss up, because you don't really have to worry about it with the Brawler Warden, because he just does one impact of 80% of their life, and then as long as you have like a life drain or some sort of something that gives you life, you normally don't die against that Warden. Well, assuming you have beast heroes like some of the top accounts. All right, so let's go ahead and get into, what do we got for events today? We got Smash and Win. We got Guild Wars issues. You guys make sure not to collect that. We got Send. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was doing this on my free-to-play. I'm not sure exactly. I don't know if I collected any of the reward. What do you get for... You get the cannon tower scraps. Okay, that's actually not that bad for free-to-play. One thing you do want to do, I just remember this. You want to make sure you send your heart out before you claim the prize because you'll get what just happened right there. You already sent a heart out today, and then you can't send a heart. So fairy tale prince, and we get a valentine bag. Okay, so... That is cool. So I guess the goal is just to send one out for each one. So that's pretty nice that free-to-play get 
all these extra rewards. That's actually very nice. I will take all that stuff. Now, let's go ahead and get into the discount store, and then we'll get into Hero Collector as well. So we got going for the discount store. Let's go ahead and get that free refresh in for 30%. I don't think there's really anything there we want to buy. Let's go ahead and see what all is in the discount store. Anything good for free to play? These would be somewhat decent for free to play if those are gems required. Same with that. Hmm. Is there anything that is up for gems? Wow. 200 mastery essences these days. 600 igniting stones. That is freaking insane. Ooh, those 100 pet eggs would actually be nice as well. All right. So the only thing for gems in this is shards and that. We got... Mmm, wow. Even the Unholy Pact isn't gems? That's kind of lame. 14? Are you serious? That's ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and refresh this again. We got the Igniting Stones, so we'll go ahead and take those Igniting Stones for 7. No doubt about that. And I think we go ahead and refresh again. I don't really care for any of that stuff. Look, they upped this to 10,000 fame instead of 5. It's actually pretty nice. And let's go ahead and refresh again. We got more stones up top. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and use two of these. What do we got? We got 10%. All right, come on, give me more than that. What do we got, 20%? You gotta be kidding me. I guess I just use five of these and go ahead and collect those, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. No need to really use another one. Discount store is not really that great today because whenever I look at discount store, I strictly only think about my pay-to-play account. I could care less about, I mean, my free-to-play account. I could care less about my, what this holds for my pay-to-play account. There's really just not really anything I even see that interesting besides these three level eight bags. That would be freaking huge. But, of course, I'd have to get 90% on my free-to-play to get that. Wait, is that five? Ooh. Actually, that's not that bad. Five level nine talent runes. If you get a high percentage with that, I didn't realize. I thought that was actually one. So, 4,800 gems on free-to-play for five. Okay, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. That's probably the only good thing I really like a lot from um, from that event, though. All right, what do we got going from Hero Collector today? We got Alchemist for the 200 honor badges. We got Plant Warrior coming through with the new level 8 Wicked Armor Insignia, which is pretty good. I don't really need that too much. Could care less about those firewood scraps at this point. Got 300 of the new pet. That's actually really nice if free-to-play rolls Rowdy Rascals today. Along with two of these bags, we also got some Rowdy Rascals scraps. Let's see. Sasquatch hands out not only the Sasquatch scraps, but if you're free-to-play, you get the Mahatma and the Mahatma scraps. My free-to-play would love to see that today. No doubt about that. Maybe I'll actually make a uh, free-to-play video today. Why not? Because I haven't done that in so long. So let's go ahead and roll a total of 15 gelatinous champions and see what shows up. I do have some other events today as well. Let's go ahead and stick with some 150s at start. Man, this freaking... This new rolling system has me triggered. We got Creation 01... What do we need to see? We need to see Rowdy Rascals. Rowdy Rascals, my man. Sasquatch, also a plant warrior. Where you at, plant warrior? Oh my gosh, I'm about to have a seizure, boys. We got Anubis and Vlad Dracula. We got a Candy Cane and a Mortep. We got a Beast Tamer as well. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. Do I got eggs showing up? Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and remove these eggs right quick and snatch up plant warrior. Thank you. Succubus. Another Immortep. That make it hard to get the goods today, boys. We got some more gelatinous champions in the house. A Michael showing up. Where's my Sasquatch for my Mahatma plus my Mahatma scraps? I'm pretty sure I actually need Mahatma scraps, so I would be pretty happy if I could see a Sasquatch one. Oh, come on, Sas. Where you at, Sasquatch? Plant Warrior, where you guys had now? Ooh. My man Boogeyman came out to play. What's up, Boogeyman? Boogeyman, I'm surprised we haven't seen a Lazu yet. Coming back from vacation, Lazu's out hiding from me. There's a Siren. No thank you with that. Wow. Legends just aren't the same anymore, man. When I'm rolling these heroes, I'm just like... It's like, what, dude? That's a lame Trixie Treat roll, bro. Like, I want to see the bam, like the sick animation. Like, oh, who is that? Oh, oh, wait a minute. I got Mahatma the cheese way. I needed Sasquatch to get Mahatma, not Mahatma to get Mahatma. That's a big old rip. Let's keep, wait, actually, did we finish up the Gelatinous Champions? Oh, no, we got two more left. Let me see, what other events do I have today? I got Smash and Win. Which, oh, smash and win. This isn't the Egg Hatchathon event. Or not Egg Hatchathon, the uh, other. We got two smash and wins now. Level three Prime Crest Chest. They're not two smash and wins. This, they need to update this smash and wins is what they need to do. Still level three Prime Boxes. Anybody that's spending money on this game doesn't. Oh, my God. 
gosh. Actually, I'm not even doing the rest of this. I'm not even. I'm letting IGG just see that I wasted those tries because it's a bunch of useless junk. Most pay to play players do not need any of that stuff. The same with this point arcade, too, I believe. Let me see. Unless they updated it. No, they did not. I just normally go to the prize hub in exchange for these. I'm like, oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. But I don't even feel like doing that today. So, yeah, no other events for buying today. Shopping spree is the main event. You guys make sure not to forget that. And let's go ahead and snatch up that Plant Warrior plus Sasquatch. Come on, Sash. Come on, Plant Warrior. No love. We got a Paladin coming to play. We got another Gelatinous Champion. So one more Gelatinous, and that's all she wrote with those. Come on. There's the final Gelat. We rolled a lot of freaking Grim Fiends. There's another Trixie. Seems like a lot of Cupids today, too. No sa- Oh, Ashura showing up. Saw some decent heroes. I mean, we got Ashura and Boogeyman, along with the Mahatma and a Walla just showed up. A Spirita and Pumpkin Dude. Two double legends back to back with a Rock Note. That probably means Sasquatch is coming next. Sasquatch is up. We'll roll another 8,000 gems with Gunslinger, huh? Nothing from the Hero Collector today, though. Come on, give me the Plant Warrior. Plant Warrior. Blues, quite a few Paladins. We got about a thousand gems left. We'll end it on that Cupid right there. Actually, two more 450s. Mech Tessa and Snowzilla and a Gelatinous Champion. All right, so we'll go ahead and end the day as is. Go ahead and collect this stuff. Another 1,200 Igniting Stones. Goodness gracious, man. My might is about to shoot up soon. Because I don't even have... Like, I'm already done with most of my main heroes as far as the... Uh, Breakthrough levels go. But now I got 30,000. Oh, baby. About 30,000 more worth of igniting stones. That is quite a bit of igniting stones. I'm not exactly sure how much might that is. But I think I'm going to live stream tomorrow. And whenever I do, I'll probably use all these igniting stones during the live stream. Just so I can talk with people while doing this. And chia chia. Also got some other ideas coming up as well. So I should be making, I think I have another rolling session coming up and definitely an update video on the free to play account just to show you guys where it's at and run the discount store along with maybe a thousand gems on Hero Collector. Probably not though because I actually, you know what, definitely not because I just remembered it is very important to save those gems for the Egg Hatchathon event because that's like free gems for free to play and I haven't had, it's come up like three times. I'm like, what? It's been insane, and I've missed out on it all three times because not only do I not have enough eggs, I don't have enough gems either. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas. Hey, guys, if y'all like what y'all saw, please hit that subscribe button. Support your boy, JT, and if you really like it, go ahead and hit that bell one time for the notifications. Peace out.